why am I still playing the same dude? Annoying, but whatever. Okay, same dude. Okay, let's go E3 here. Um, just keep rolling. Okay, I'm gonna play D4 here. I'm gonna play C4, I don't know if this is right. I'm trying to play some kind of like, something here to chip away at his center here. I don't know if it's good, I'll go F4. How many hours a day do I stream? I think on average around six, six or a little bit more than that. I don't get bored of playing chess, I love chess. Chess is a great game. Let's play queen b3, how could I ever get bored of it? I gotta drink more water, okay, sure. Let's just take. Probably I got to develop again. He, again, my, my man, he keeps playing end games. Like I've moved my king all over the board. Like when we reach an end game, it doesn't, doesn't really matter because like I just have two bishops and I'm better. I'm just going to win this game. I mean, I, I, I'm not even concerned. Um, let's just go here. I'm going to mark it. I'm going to win this game. Who cares? Let's go B4, B5. I should probably kick the horse though first. I should kick the horse, make him go back and then do this whole expansion. Okay, um, now I'm gonna kick the horse, make the horse go back and then I'm just gonna take everything. I'm gonna take all the space on the side of the board again. He can't capture the juicer because he loses his rook. He can't move the horse, so he goes there. I can go here, I can also go here and here. I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to build a connect four. And I'm just going to eventually rotate the horse to a5. Let's go here. Let's go here. Again, I want to cut the square for his horse to hop. And I'm just going to bring my horse up here and win, win everything at the end of the board. Let's go here. I'm going to go here and here. Okay, I go back. I can't let him jump with this horse. It's a strange move. I'm just going to take. It's a free pawn. Why not? Goes h6. I do have g4. I can also just eat the pawn here. I can also go here, maybe. I think I'm just going to eat the pawn, though, and go here. Because now he can't recapture the bishop because I eat the rook. And I'm just going to take. I got to be a little bit careful, though, I realized. So there's a trick with rook g6 that I just realized exists. So I'm going to go this way. Be a little bit careful here. Let's go rook g1. Maybe g3, knight f4 at some point. Maybe knight c3, hit the pawn. A little bit dangerous. Okay, um, I think I go here maybe, and now I just take this one, and I have free pawn rolling up the board. I can go here, I can also take this. I think I'm just gonna take and go this way maybe. And the bishop holds everything, holds this way and this way. Try connect seven. <laughs> But yeah, normally I stream like six to seven hours every day. I skip one day a week. Thank you, Triniuk, for the Prime. You chats for the tier one for the Cascade with the Prime and Latumic with the Prime. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but thank you so much. Um, so that's generally what I try to do. I try to stream like six to seven, seven hours a day. Um, okay, how do I do this? Maybe I go here. Let's go Rook G1. Thank you to um, Venethir the Great for the eight months. Thank you so much. Let's go here as his horse gets trapped. I'm doing well. I think I just take the pawn. His horse is still trapped. I just ignore it, his horse is still trapped. <laughs> um, he resigns, let's keep going. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rematch. Oh my gosh, why do I keep playing this dude? I'm like so much higher than him at this point. Figuratively and, literally and figuratively. So why do I keep getting paired with him? Um, let's go d4 and e3 and c3 here. Let's go e3 and bishop d3. Yeah, I'm playing, I'm pl basically I'm playing a bridge version of it because I can't play the true bond cloud e4 king e2 every game because someone could play like pawn to d5 or pawn to knight f6 on move one and, and I hang the pawn on move one. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm playing a bridge version. I'm playing e3 king e2 and f3 king f2 because if I try to do the true version, there would be trolls who would basically kind of ruin it. Um, I don't know why I keep getting paired with this dude though. It's kind of annoying. Oh wait, no, is this the same dude? No, right, there's someone else, sorry, I'm crazy. This is not the same guy, is it? Let's go here. It's a little bit dangerous. My king is kind of wandering perilously close to the edge of the board. 
This is actually dangerous. Gotta be a little bit careful. But it's probably okay, actually. Queen h4, I can play like queen g1, which is very weird. And I think I'm okay. He does it, okay. <sighs> Let's see, what do I have? Okay, if I go g3, queen h5, that's not good. Queen g1's a move that I want to play. Queen h5. I'm gonna do it. I, I don't know. I don't know if this works, but I'm gonna do it. Now let's go back. If he takes, I come here. If he checks, I come here. I think I'm like barely hanging on, but I have a knight g3 idea, which is my point. If I did it right away, he checks and takes with check. So that's why I move the bishop so that he can't go here, here when I when I try to hit his queen. Next move. If he takes on d4, I just take back. The whole point is to hit the queen, and when he tries to fossilize me by moving the knight, I just move the king, and it's, there's not there's just an empty square because I move the bishop back. Okay, so now I go knight g3, of course. He's got no time either, which is good. Oh, queen h4, wow, that's a strange move. Um, I think I will just move my king and try to bring my other horse in, bring the cavalry in to hit the queen. And now I think I'm okay. Now I hit the queen again with my other horse. And I will just take the juicer next move. And I think I'm okay. Somehow I'm okay. Doesn't mean it's great, but I'm okay. Okay, let's just take the juicer. If he takes, I just take. I'm gonna go h3 and kick his horse out of here. Let's go here in g4. Uh, I just take and I, I, I fossilize his queen and he loses his bishop. And he can also do a Botez Gambit while he's at it for good measure. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna win this game too, so let's just mark it up to 170. Okay, let's go here. I guess I go e6, knight, e7, d5. I mean, maybe he can be really bold and play f5, but I'm just gonna create a big, like, big pyramid triangle or whatever you wanna call it. Overconfidence? Well, as I said earlier, you guys, um, when in doubt, be confident. Let's play d5 and just play bishop takes d6 here. Thank you to Acer for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. Pyramid scheme. Exactly. Pyramid schemes are the best. Uh, let's go knight d5 maybe and just develop. Knight d7, knight b6 at some moment probably is good. Score is minus 3.0 after the potest gambit plus 20. Yeah, let's go rook f8, king g8 here. <laughs> I'm joking, you guys. Take a chill pill. Take a deep breath. Relax. Um, let's just drop the bishop back, and I'm going to move the king to g8. Overconfidence? No, overconfidence just means you're you're great. That's all overconfidence is. Let's play b5 here. When in doubt, just resign. That's also possible. True. Let's just drop back. Thank you to the Acer again for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you to all you guys. Thank you for the love and support. You're all amazing. Um, thank you to everybody who's watching. Uh, it's, I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Let's play knight d7, knight b6 next move. Um, I think I'll play c5 and just open it up here. Because, I mean, I, I got my king castled here. So, yeah. I'm, no, I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying it. This is the life. Uh, let's go here. I mean, I probably want to open it up again. You castle in like five turns again. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to castle. You go one, two, three. That's just life. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, what is this? Because I fossilized the knight. He goes here and I go here. And now he's fossilized. Kind of. I mean, I, I don't know if this is actually... This is kind of weird. Which knight do I... This is actually very weird. Let's think about this for a second. I think I'll go here and hit the queen. I'm gonna go here and here probably. And I hit the queen and I trap it. I guess he can go back, but I mean, it still looks really bad somehow. I, I've played backgammon, yeah. I mean, not on stream, but backgammon's a game that I played quite a bit of back in the day. Uh, I wonder if I can go here and just like, 
Let's just do it to try and trap the queen. We're, we're gonna play a game of queen and queen and seek. Um, we'll, we'll just try. We'll try to um, get rid of the queen. It's a move. I thought I could play. I feel like there's got to be some way to trap the queen. I mean, there's got to be some. Wait, no. Let's go here. Let's hit the queen. It's so close to being trapped, but I don't think it quite is. Let's go here. Let's hit the queen again. Let's go here. Let's hit the queen again. It goes here, and then I'm going to fossilize the queen and win the... Okay, this can't possibly work, though. Just take the juicer. Um, let's do some kind of weird diagonal Tourette's. Actually, this traps the queen. I'm I'm so stupid. Yeah, this just traps it. He can't take, and now now I cover the square. He can't go back here either, so he loses the queen. Okay, now I just eat the queen, and if he takes the bishop, he gets checkmated by the knight and the queen. Take the bishop. I don't want to stop at all. Um, let's try to get some horsey checkmates here, like knight f4. Let's go for some horsies. We've got all kinds of threats here. Doesn't really bother me. I go king h8. Okay, that's a horsey checkmate. Let's keep going. Go g3. I'm gonna play king g2, maybe e4. That's, that's too dank. Let's play d3, e4. I gotta build a pyramid. Because my king is very vulnerable here. I'm gonna go here, knight e3, knight c4, maybe. Let's go here, knight c4. Again, I gotta build the outpost so he can't he can't kick me with b5. I think I just take with the f pawn. I go here, knight f3. I'm gonna go knight h3, rook f1, and manually castro my king. Okay, he does this, which it looks good, but my king is very safe, actually, on g2. I mean, he can try, like, rook f7, but I, I don't really believe in this for black. I'm just doing, I'm doing just fine. And now my king is actually very safe on g2, so we take. Let's go here. Now I'm going to go here, line this up. He's got a weakness here. And my king is just very safe, and I have the two ops. Let's go here. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reroute my horse now. My horse needs to come around the board. Let's do this, take a line. Let's go here, bring my horse in. Maybe I can actually take every light square eventually. Um, I can also go C3. Knight B4 is a very good move actually. So I'm gonna play H4, try to take some space. He okay, goes rook A8, that doesn't really concern me that much. I mean, it does concern me, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's go here. Okay, that's actually a bad move, so I go C3, and he doesn't get his break, and I kick the horse before he can open up the position. That looks insane. He's gonna get his horse trapped here, I think. Wait a second. Let's go check. He's gotta go see if... Isn't his horse getting trapped? Hello, horsey. Hello, horsey. Yeah, his horse is just gonna get trapped here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, this is twenty-one. Just making sure that I've got my numbers right. Okay, let's just take and take. His horsey is still trapped right up here. Okay, I just take.
I go bishop d1, he has knight b4. Um, I don't really have anything better though, so let's just let's just play the end game. I can also go rook b1, whatever. Let's just let's just win an end game, knights and technically. This might not have been the smartest thing I could have ever done, but I'll still win. Okay, I'll go here. I think that was a bad move. Um, now I'm just going to run my king around this way. And eventually it's Swiss cheese because my horse is going to come in and eat the pawn on um, on h6 eventually. Let's go here and I bring the horse around. Let's rotate. Hit the juicer here. And my bishop dominates the horse anyway. The bishop has no squares. Let's just go here. Go here, and I just bring the king in. Just keep keep dominating the horse. And just keep rolling it. Just take and go here. And now he can't stop the pawn, just GG's. Okay, we keep winning. We're gonna we're gonna win this one too, so let's just mark it up. Especially because he's going to play this way. Okay, let's just go here. Preemptive markup, exactly. Let's go bishop g4, knight c6. If d5, I mean, okay, I'll, I'll go here. I'll line up this penny pin pin. And if he takes, I just take with the horse and there's max pressure. So I think he has, I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh my gosh, he can just take. Oh, he, he could have taken with a knight. He doesn't. So now I fossilize the queen and there are multiple threats here. And I think the GG's. Why do you even play this market as a win and do something else? <laughs> totally, totally. Okay, he goes e5, which, um, let's think about this. I feel like I just take and go here, and again, the pin is really strong. The two ops are crushing. Okay, let's just keep rolling it. Rolling with the ops. So I obviously have to take first, and now I just eat the, eat the rook. Let's go here, try to bring the queen in. I've got a very nice connect four which dominates his bishop, no access, since it's it's cut by the pawn on, on e4. Okay, let's, um, let's just go rook a d8. I can play queen e5, but I think I'm just going to move my horse here, try to consolidate with my connect 4 in the center, and just move my queen up. He does this, so I just take and I move my queen up. I might try to create a connect five with like a knight and the four juicers. That would be a very nice connect five. Thank you to Mr. Wario for the prime unboxing sheep. Okay, let's just move the king over. I'm gonna create a, a connect five with my horse to lead the way. This is a very nice connect five. Look at this connect five, it's beautiful. And I'm also fossilizing the knight on c3 too. Okay, let's just eat the pawn first, hit the queen, he moves, and he's just losing everything here. I can take, I can also just go here and just hit the queen again, and I'm just going to eat the knight. Did I watch XCC and bet the Bastion? I don't think I've watched that clip, actually, the Bastion clip. I haven't watched it, no. I can just, I mean, everything is winning here. I just want to take with the rook, though. And probably I go f4 and I just start to rip open the protection around his king here. I mean, the, the two towers and the queen are just very strong.
Okay, I can play e3 here. I can also just go like f3. And also go queen h4, but I gotta be careful. My king is a little bit open if this diagonal ever opens up. Just go e3. I don't know if it's the best move, but it looks good. Probably, I'm just gonna take. I mean, he can take, he can go up. I mean, I can always just check. Okay, I'm just gonna check and, and force queens off. And now the two towers will rule the day. Let's go here, hit the juicer. Probably I'm gonna go like really, I feel like I can just take actually. Um, let's play, everything is winning, so it's hard to come up with the right idea. I guess I'll just go here. Go checking up. Let's go here and just check next move. And I just escort the pawn. We play a game of escort the pawn to the end of the board to win with the two, two towers. Okay, we keep going. Okay, let's play f6 again. Again, move the king to f7. Timer is not at, oh, the, no, the timer's not at two minutes. Sorry, I got I gotta adjust it, sorry. Um, sorry, I gotta adjust it. Where's the, uh, where is it, sorry. It's not, it, um, it became an extra digit, sorry. <laughs> sorry, okay. Um, let's go g6 here. Yeah, sorry, uh, apologies, you guys. Let's play d5 here. <laughs> yeah, that was good stuff. Let's take. Thank you for reminding me though, you guys. I very easily could have forgotten. Okay, let's just go back. This is a weird position, kind of. I don't know what's going on. I think I just move my king over, maybe. e5 is very bad. So let's go, um, let's go c5, maybe. This is actually quite tricky. Okay, let's go knight c6. If I get the big center that I desperately want here, I should be okay. I'd be very careful of tricks like knight g5, though. Very, very careful here. Can I play e5? I probably can. Um, but I think I'm going to start with knight h6 to cover the square so that when I thrust with the pawn... I think this is okay. Because now I cover the square at the end of the day. And now I go knight f5 and I hit the bishop. And now I'm already starting to improve the position to where I should just be much better. Let's just go here. Let's go here and just take. I'm doing very well suddenly. Okay, I'll go here, hold the knight, hold the bishop. I can move the knight, open the line. My queen is an all-star here. <clears throat> I can play knight d4 here, I guess. Is there, let's just do it, I don't know, I don't care. <gasps> oh, he's got knight f6, oy oy oy, I blundered. I, or wait, no, wait, no, he doesn't have knight f6 now because now he doesn't have a horse to target the pawn. I think there was something, I thought there was some knight f6 here maybe, takes and something with the knight and the queen, but it's too brittle now, so he can't take. I mean, I'll pre-move it in case he does, but I'm sure he won't. <laughs> he does it, okay. There's g4, this just looks too bold to me. But maybe it's playable, I don't know. Um, I'll just go here. I feel like I'm, I'm the one who's actually attacking, weirdly. Oh no, I just blundered this, shoot. Uh, I just blundered. Let's go here. I'm gonna have to really focus now. One second, you guys. I really butchered this. And I don't even have a big time edge, so it's gonna be tricky. Oh, I just blundered again. Shoot. Missed it. Okay. Go here and do a double target, right triangle. I'm gonna try to eat the pawns up. He's trying to bring some kind of attack here, so I'm gonna come back. Queen f7 was maybe better. Just h4 anyway, shoot, this is really bad. Let's go here. This looks okay, I take.
Don't I just take? I hit the queen. I have g4. Okay, I should be winning, I think. Let's kick the queen, and now I just bring the rook, and he has to lose all the pressure that he had before. It's still a very messy position, but I think I'm doing well. Because both sides' kings are really random, randomly placed here. Like, it's very random. Let's just go back. And I guess I moved the bishop back or something. I mean, both kings are so wide open here. I mean, we're both trying to scatter with our kings to safety. I mean, it's such a messy position. Let's go here. He's got no time now, though, so I think I'm doing okay. Um, it's a good move. Think, think. Okay. Let's go here. I'll go here. Shoot. Let's go here, maybe? Queen d5, I go rook c5. I can also sack. Go here. Hit the queen. And now I can move the rook back. And now I hold on my glue. My glue all holds together. Now I just come back and look at this glue. The glue is good. The glue is solid. Let's just come back, hold the rooks, ma manually hold them, and come back this way. Here. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Let's go here. I can just flag him probably. Let's go here. Okay, now I just flag him, good. There we go. Or, ah, that was a slip. Ah, yikes. Let's keep going. 